I finally said it out loud. So yeah. Hi. City of mine. How I love, how I love the city of mine. It never gets me down. City of mine. How I love, how I love the city of In the city, I was raised on its edges. My pop work is life when it's complex. If I'm loving it, center. If I could live here for life. All right, y'all made it to true 40. Whew, I'm ready for the workout. Got my water, got my little Lululemon set. Let's do this. Oh, it was a great workout. Um, I have quite a bit of work to do. I'll pop up on the screen my to-do list um, right now. I'm about to send a Slack message to my externs and to... Um, operations manager okay so I sent the update to everybody slack is done um oh i'm boiling some eggs <laughs> for breakfast um oh i have quite a bit to do so i'm trying to just get my mind together I need to put myself out of office Friday, Saturday, Sunday because my girl is getting married. So we're having an engagement party at a lake with my girl Stephanie. We went to law school together. Whew, okay. Hello, y'all. I am back. I'm showered. I have eaten. Actually, might um, drink a drip drop. Drip drop is like electrolyte. I'm about to zone in and edit for the next hour. Well, really like less than an hour because I have a call at 115 so about 40 minutes i'm gonna just edit up until that point sunlight that always stays dinner by the waterway it's that sweet light hello y'all so we have moved into my like living room area so i can get in this zoom call about the externship program i just have to like touch base with the um Cumberland rep who is coordinating it. So, gonna jump on here. Good afternoon, Cameron. How are you? I'm good. How are you doing? And I'm directing the externship program here at Cumberland. Sure, yeah. So, well, my social media journey started before I even wanted to get on, do anything with law school. So, about midway through college, I was talking to my professor. And then I started talking to my advisors, like, I have no idea what I need to do. And at that point, you have to choose a major. And I'm like, I can't be undecided until I graduate. So let me figure this out. I thought I wanted to do like theater or something a little bit more artsy. And my lovely mother at the time was like, no, ma'am, you're going to find something that is a little bit more secure. So I was like, that's fine. I'll just do my YouTube videos on the side while I'm trying to figure out like my actual career, not knowing that eventually it would be a little bit of a combination later on. My advisor, ironically, was a lawyer. So he was like, you know what? After getting to know you, just take some pre-law classes to see how you like them. So I took some. I was like, OK, this is kind of cool. Joined the mock trial team and I was hooked. So I was like, great. Law school it is. If I get in, I'm going. I got into a handful of schools. I toured Cumberland and fell in love. Got to Cumberland. I really like just dive right in and started to network with the Birmingham community because I'm not from Alabama I'm from Michigan originally and yeah fun fact <laughs> I went to school in Georgia though in college so you know all during this time I was really like just clueless about law school like right before I started I'm like what do I do over the summer like I'm reading different like articles and just trying to figure out should I be reading already do I need to reach out to my professors like what do I do so I just started videotaping my experience and I started putting it on YouTube because before that was more like just like hair, beauty, fashion, and then it turned into like, here's my law school experience and you're walking with it with me because I have no idea what's happening. Um, and then kind of over the years as it went on, I joined top trial team. I did that. I love that. I ended up working in employment litigation. Love that. That's where I worked right out of law school. And at that point, everyone's like, you're a lawyer now. Let me ask you all these questions. So I had friends and colleagues just like asking me a few different things about their contracts and influencer marketing. And I'm like, 
oh yeah, like this is something I learned, I don't know, like this may work, I don't know, but this is kind of what I do with my contracts. Not realizing at first it started out, nobody really had contracts in social media. People were just sending products and then they're just doing this like, hey, advertising online and there was no contracts. Really still was rarely any laws and regulations, but that's a whole nother topic. But it was just kind of everybody just out there doing it. And then all of a sudden brands were sending contracts and creators were like, um, what? I just want to take pictures. Like, I don't want to read this. Like, what's happening? So I was like, hey, I'll just read them. And this is kind of what I'm learning. And I just kind of chose it as like an educational platform. So I just do videos on, I call it the Legal Tea Series about my law school experience, as well as like social media influence and marketing. Graduated, started working, left that job. And I was like, okay, I'm going to do this full time. I don't know what I'm going to do yet, but we're going to figure it out. It turned more into consulting because a lot of times creators just don't understand, like, what does it even mean to even have a contract? Like, why do I need one? What's happening with this? So I was like, great, I can help with that. Or different terms like, what is per perpetual use? What is perpetuity? And they're like, I read it on Google, but I still don't get it. So I can kind of bridge that gap between taking the law and like the legalities and the fancy words that we love to use because we're lawyers and making it like, okay, it just means they're gonna use your content forever. Um, and, I, and I love that I'm in that position because I also still am a creator. I still work with brands myself. And I kind of do my own internal research because I get to talk to brands and agencies while still having clients that are creators. So long story short, <laughs> that's pretty much how I got here. Raise your cross, made some do crack a smile. He asked if I could stay a while. I'm living Yeah, no, I think that's exactly the goal over the summer. This is my first time having externs. Um, like I hired other contractors for different things, but this is kind of new to me too. But like the first assignment I gave them was go out there and find a case in this industry. And I think what I really want, hope y'all learn from that is it's, it's not much out there. It's a lot of, here's a possibility of a case or here's something that might be something. And then it ends up turning into usually business are like, Hey, we'll just pay. Like, let's get out of here. Or it just doesn't go any further because there's like, there's no laws to stand on. It's kind of hard to make those connections. Just when I think, ugh, I swear y'all. I'm like always on the fence, like, I don't want to do the law stuff. I just want to create. I'm not being actually helpful. Like I was just going through a phase today. Um, well, yesterday and today where I was like, like, am I, what I'm doing even worth it? Like, I guess I'll just go ahead and do the little rant. <sighs> Me feeling like I'm a little lost in what I'm doing. I say that because, so I have the master class that's going to be the end of the month. Oh my God, the weather is getting so bad. <gasps> I need to get my nails done and a car wash. It's giving not today. Is it giving not today? $65, you get an interactive, like real time masterclass. Like it's in real time. I don't know, but I think I'm gonna do it for free. Cause at first I was like, well, I'll just not do it. Then I was like, okay, Cameron, let me sit and think. Do I, what is the purpose of my masterclass? It's really to provide education in a group form and to prom promote my other services. So if the goal is for me to have them go to my other services, then it might as well be free. Does that make sense? I'm still figuring out business stuff. But of course, like the money would be nice with the extra money because I was going to just fill, funnel that back into the membership program that we're building out on the Legal Tea. Um, and the membership is going to be great. It's going to include like the videos that y'all see on YouTube that are like about the Legal Tea. Those are going to go in the membership space. And we're going to have like additional like research and summarizing of like terms and conditions. And when... Um, social media platforms have updates. We're going to have everything over there and like a directory and a whole bunch of just amazing things. I'm super excited for that, but um, that's going to take time and money and resources. So I really just had a moment where I just was like, I'm just going to charge, do a masterclass, but you know what? No, I need to take a step back. Trust in myself, trust in my, my team, trust in God and his timing and that I will be okay. I will be fine. I don't need this extra money from the masterclass um, because I'm a money magnet. Money flows to me, I'm abundant. I still have money mindset stuff I'm working on, but yeah, I just kind of like had a moment of, oh, I just need to hurry make some more money. And it's like, girl, stop. Look at your bank account. You're fine, like stop. It's so hard to get out of that like fear of not having enough, um, fear of like money fear. So yeah, that's a quick little rant, but I need to finish editing and um yeah but that call went really good so i will probably be continuing the externship program um right now i'm just focusing on cumberland students but i may expand it depending on kind of what the year looks like and then 
Um, and then the professor that we were on the call with, she said she would love me to, she would want, she would like for me to come speak to her externship program in the fall. So I'm excited. I love speaking stuff. I'm doing a podcast interview this week. I just love speaking. So, yeah. Time to catch a flight, but you can make me go. Unlocking all the memories of my new home. Ventilated echoes playing to and fro, to and fro. Morning, beautiful people. I just wanted to take a minute to admire the workouts. Period. I feel like as women, we're always beating our bodies up. So I'm gonna take a moment to appreciate. To me, I don't have like a, a number or like a small level. It's really just toning up. I feel better when I'm working out and all that kind of stuff. Anyway, I'm about to made my bed, I always make my bed. Um, I'm about to finish editing these contracts that I have to do today. I um, have a workout at 9.30, it's 8.16, so. I started working on the contract last night, but yeah. Also, I had this little pimple patch from Mara Badescu. It works so well, I love them, they work so well. I'll leave a link, they're the best. Like, I've never tried any other ones though, so. You guys have any patches that you try, but I love Mara Badescu patches. So, definitely recommend them. I'm just gonna keep it on until I leave to work out. But I can already tell the bump is down. I'm still waking up. I'm about to, I took a bite of this granola bar yesterday and I was like, well, I don't really want it. So I'm about to finish the rest of this granola bar today since my workout's later in the day. I do not like eating a lot before my workout. But, sorry, water in the way. But um, since the workout is like 9.30, that's kind of late in the day. I wanted to eat something and I'm gonna make a chai tea latte as well. I'm trying to like get away from energy drinks, but um, I just be having y'all at such ugly angles, I'm sorry. But um, yeah, I still love a good Celsius. Okay, so let's get into contract review. I need to make uh, today's Instagram to-do list. I also need to, I have a lot of editing to do. Because I still have not given a tape ins update. At this point, it's like it's so late. I know. I know. Okay, y'all, we are showered and ready for our first call. Also, just ate breakfast. I just had oatmeal, bacon, and eggs. Nothing serious. That's what I, I showed everyone once in a while my vlogs, but I really eat one of the same things. So, I'm about to jump on this call. Also, I have a really exciting package. Are y'all leaning? <laughs> Lean with it, roll with it. Um, I have an exciting package that's coming today, so I'm so excited. I didn't know it was going to come today. I thought it was going to be tomorrow or Thursday. Hey, can you hear me? Hey, how are you? So, so, so glad to be talking with you again. Yeah. Congrats yeah. on the podcast in advance. Mm -hmm. She's so sweet. She's like, so sweet. I have clients that are like recurring. I'm trying to log into my email account and it's telling me my computer is not working. Okay, so I feel like my last weekly vlog was really talkative and I feel like this one is about to be kind of talkative. So I'm so sorry if y'all are like, girl, shut your so. Okay, y'all, I just ran downstairs. Let me move y'all a little bit. And I have an Amazon package, and I'm excited because this also came early. Where's my address so y'all don't see it? Okay. Y'all, I think I know what I got. Listen, Amazon Prime Day. Got me two, sis. Got me two. I ordered so much stuff. It's crazy. Yay. What is, wait, what is this? I didn't order this. What is this? I 
they get a new phone case. And um, a Chanel book. Oh wait, y'all can't even see. Cute, okay, period, period. What is this? And then I got some more of the little suction cup hooks. I love these. Child, what is this? All okay, right, I did order this, but anyway, so. Super cute, but I did not order this. This is supposed to be. I'll pop on the screen and I'm actually gonna edit and do that because this just pissed me off because this is supposed to be like the little decor. Oh no. Now I gotta call him on a cuss day at no not cuss literally. But anyway, what time is it? Because I know I'm pushing on time for um I have another call. Oh, I got five minutes. I'ma open my phone case because my case to buy phone case has seen better days. Okay, so it was time to Amp it up. Oh, it comes with a little screen protector. Mm -hmm. I love my Caseify um, phone cases. I actually have another one and I got it before I moved and I haven't seen it since. So I don't know where it is, but wow. I never look at my phone without the case, but anyway. Oh, it's so white though, y'all. I'm like a lick of makeup, two days and this thing will be dirty. But I like that it came with a screen protector. Anyway, I think I'm gonna set the Chanel on top of the Louis. Let me show you guys. Y'all see? Ignore my, um. please ignore the ghetto cord covers because I haven't like actually put it on the wall. I just put them up there to see how I like it before I like tape it on the wall or whatever. But. I'm gonna put the Chanel. I got this super cute. This is so cute from Home Goods, and this is just like my little Um, I think I'm gonna put the Chanel like here because I wanted to put like a little rope configuration on top of this, or should I put the Chanel here? Let's see. I'm not mad at it down there for now, and then I get like the rope stuff if they ever actually give me what I order. Anyway, okay, I got some more water. I'm sorry, I be having y'all this weird angle. I could just get my whole tripod. I'm sorry, but I should. Cause when I'm editing the footage, I'm like, ew, the angle's gross, but. Like, what is this? Oh. Bro. Sometimes Amazon make you wanna fist fight in the streets. Hello, how are y'all doing? Good, can't complain, can't complain. Call done, it went really well. My battery is just flying, like it's getting so low. Okay, so it ended a, a, a little bit early, so. I'm going to eat lunch at home because I got food at the house, but I kind of want to um, get tacos later. That's my problem. Like, why do I want to have tacos outside? It's gorgeous in here. Hey, Christina, hey. say hi to the vlog. She's an influencer girl. <laughs> I'm here to support influencer teens. Extra extra it's hi. influencer girl. <laughs> I'm so annoyed. It's not stripping. Yeah. Mm. And it smells good. Is it lotion? No, it's a face wash. Oh! So add, add your water to it. Oh, here. Sorry, this is a. You can probably do your whole body in that. Okay. <laughs> is this a moisturizer? It's a moisturizer okay. and sunscreen. So, okay, so that's what I was gonna say. So the Ulta. Okay, y'all. So we decided to walk. What is going on? I've never seen a lot of people. All of a sudden. It's all of a sudden, I'm like, do we really want to walk? Let's check the weather. Is it gonna rain? I don't know. That's why I said this is cheap. It, it's gonna rain. It is. I don't know. <laughs> the dramatics. Don't prove me wrong. Prove you
morning, beautiful people. So I am up struggling this morning, but Mother Nature should be coming today. So that's probably why I'm like kind of tired, but I um, have quite a bit to get done. I would love to get all this done. I have two contracts to review, like a contract and like a supplement type document. I don't know um, how to explain it without giving too much. But, and then also I have a creative concept to draft and send over. So I would love to get all of this done before my 11 a.m. call. And then um, also eat breakfast before my 11 a.m. call because I don't think I'm gonna make it <laughs> until after that. And then after that call, it's 30 minutes. I don't have another call until 1.30 with my operation manager. So between there, I want to continue to edit the vlog I wanna submit to a brand for review today so I can get it up Thursday. So you guys have already seen that video, solo date night. Yeah, if you haven't seen it, definitely check it out. A life, huge life update is in it. Some of y'all guess, some of y'all already know, etc. but I finally said it out loud. So yeah, I'm just hitting the ground running this morning. I made me an athletic green, cause I feel like, I don't know, whenever I feel like, which I probably should take it almost every day, but sometimes I go between the athletic greens and I have like Ali multivitamins gummies. So I kind of just go between the both because I don't need to take this and then also multivitamins. This is all the vitamins you need. So, yeah. Whenever I feel like, okay, I haven't taken vitamins in a while or I haven't taken the gummies or whatever, I just re-up on some greens. I lied. In between my 11 and my 1.30, I am playing dog sitter for Catherine. I completely forgot for like a hot second. It's on my calendar, so. Um, dang. So, Yeah. Today's gonna be busy. I should have got up earlier, y'all. I wanted to, but I couldn't. I'm gonna go meet Poppy, Catherine's dog. I'm so excited. And this is gonna help me, like, I need to, like, dog sit. <laughs> and that's gonna help me see if I'm, like, capable of having a dog. I guess it's not, like, the same thing, but it, it's kind of the same thing. Anyway, I'm just rambling. I'm still trying to wake up. I, and then only caveat with, like, the athletic greens. They say don't drink any caffeine for 30 minutes after. So I'm about to gobble up the rest of this little sip. So that 30 minutes can run because I would love a chai latte, a dirty chai latte, basically a chai latte with espresso shot because yeah, I've been on an iced chai kick lately. So I'm just kind of running with it. Okay, so rushing a little bit, a couple minutes late, but getting on this call. So let me move y'all, you have a better view. Is that good? Y'all good? Ooh, okay. This morning is so busy. If in doubt, y'all, I will throw on a button up. Period. Hello. Hey, how are you? Good, how are you? I'm awesome. I feel like I know you, which is awkward, but- I <laughs> No, it's not. <laughs> a week. It's not awkward at all. So I read the questionnaire. I always try to take a look and look at your social media, but you can use this call however you need to. If you have additional questions, just feel free. Okay. This is the time where you can ask anything you need. <laughs> that call went so good. Okay, I'm literally Oh my God, I wanted to finish statement of work and contract, but I did a good girl. Hey, hey, hey girl. Did a good girl. Did a good girl. Fancy, you better just be going pee. Did a good girl. Hey, bestie. Hi, bestie. Hey. Hey, Poppy, be nice to the girl. Hey, Fancy, you the good girl. Okay. It's hard, loveys. Hey, be nice to Fancy. Be nice to her. Don't be rough housing. Be nice to the baby. Hey, Fancy. I know you be sick of her. Hey, girl. Hi, baby. Hey, Poppy. Fancy. Hey, lovey. Hey, beautiful girl. Hey, Poppy. Okay, y'all, we just had a great time. We, I just had a great time playing dog mom for like a hot second. I would have stayed longer, but I have a call at 1.30. And just like that, we are back home. I am getting on a call with my operations manager. 
I let her know I was running a little bit late, but surprisingly not as late as I thought. It's only three minutes, so let's get on here. Oh, I I love, I feel like playing with puppies just increase my mood. Do I need a dog? It's like this never ending question, right? Poppy scratched me up though. How's she gonna scratch up her TT like that? Hello. So, um, one of it is updating the speaking page. So I was thinking um, okay. that if we can have like a list of all the speaking events that you've had, um, and then I can add it in there. So I created a task for you, um, like the podcast interviews and all that stuff, okay. and then the links, and then I can just put it in Squarespace. Okay, perfect. I forgot. So yeah, I definitely need a chat. Um, all right, so I added this. Oh, cute. <laughs> yes, we love it. Yeah, so I just picked random pictures. Perfect. Because um, how many people, this is odd, and it really doesn't matter. I think, mm -hmm. it, isn't it like 48 people can fit on the first before you have to swipe on the Zoom to see the more people? Just responded 30 minutes ago. Ciao. <laughs> I am sick. <laughs> well, she said she was out of office for oh, the last okay. week. She talking about the master class. I know, right? Like the one next week. The one that <laughs> if she don't get, I'm not about to tip now. <laughs> no, <laughs> because yeah. that just stressed me out. Yeah, yeah. No, yeah. especially if it's a test. Like, what if it doesn't work? And it's like, yeah, <laughs> ma'am. <laughs> Getting ready for a podcast interview with my girl Lamour. But y'all, oh my camera battery. No, or my memory is out. But anyway. You guys are gonna have to get part of the podcast that you can get because I'm rushing, so I can't um, I can't switch my memory card right now or clear it. So let me pause you guys and wait until I start. I'm so late, she's gonna kill me, but gotta get the behind the scenes for the fam. <laughs> okay, let's get on here. Like we work from home. Early, I, I feel like we look cute right now. It's like, oh, we just left the office, period. But earlier, let me tell you. It was giving, have you seen the outdoors? <laughs> I'm dead. Okay, no okay, I look a little bit big. Hang on. How's my audio? Because I don't have a professional mic. <laughs> it acts. <Yeah. laughs> I need to get one though. All these podcast interviews and I'm I'm just over here bootlegging. Listen, by the time most of my interviews stopped, like the traditional media stuff, because the Johnny Depp stuff like died down, I had the whole setup. <laughs> Period. You were like, listen, one thing about it. Better late than never, Cameron. I love you. Hi. Hey, girl. I'm doing great. I'm doing great. I love oh that this God. is not legal advice. <laughs> <laughs> I have to ask Savannah, what did you think of my release? You signed it. I only signed it because you're my friend. No. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Okay, you guys, the lighting is crap, but my new rug is here. My new rug is here. So I'm kind of figure out where to sit y'all you can see me putting the rug together see here's the old rug ew boo boo okay i'm actually like exhausted so it's like fake energy right now um podcast interview went great i don't know about updated y'all since then don't remember the day is in a haze i actually still need to edit the video <sighs> ciao to love this it, ooh, it has no padding okay i might have to get a little padding like a padding thing because it has no padding at all i read the reviews but i was like what does that even mean but like it's it's not like cushiony oh this is huge okay we're gonna do i think this way makes more sense i don't know how big i thought my apartment was but baby this rug is too big I really don't. I have to return it, y'all. How do you return rugs? Lord. It's just too big. For now, what I'm going to do is roll up the back. And that's going to be behind the couch and out of sight of mine until I figure out how to return it. Or I'll put it in 
my bedroom. Ignore that, that's Skim's order, and I did my makeup in like seven seconds earlier, but. Good morning, beautiful people. So I have been up for a little bit, not too long. My goal was to get up super early, knock out this video, be a productive girl. None of that happened, none of that happened. The road thing really kind of pissed me off. Um, I'm gonna take it to my storage and then figure it out there. So apparently when you return a rug to overstock, like you have to pay for the return fee and everyone's like, it's so expensive because the rugs are usually big and heavy. It's like you end up not even really getting any money back. Cause I think I paid 200 something dollars for it. <sighs> so I just need it out of my apartment and I'll deal with it at another time. Anyway, this morning I'm about to edit, shower, get on a call with a potential um, brand opportunity and then I have a wax appointment today and then um, quite a bit of calls and then I have to pack at some point and get my nails done. <laughs> so it's going to be a pretty long day and I'm exhausted. I just want to say, oop, dirty chai, chai latte with, um, or with espresso shot. Okay, I'm holding the camera because I'm too lazy to go get my tripod. Is that crazy? Yeah, let me just... Girl, it's a morning, okay? I've decided that I am here to show you guys the real. And the real was I didn't feel like getting up, but also a little bit of aesthetics and good quality. But yeah, <laughs> y'all, I'm struggling, but um, I'm trying to add y'all to the tripod. Okay, so I am assigning tasks to my externs. Again, like having externs has shown me how much more organized I should be and need to be when it comes to tasks, just assignments, work, not procrastinating, all those things. But it's been really good for me, actually. So I'm about to assign them more like traditional memo research is what we're getting into now. Um, I don't do a ton of this, but I should be and I need to be. And I used to in the beginning when I first quit with like social media and photo marketing research, but I just haven't had time. So I'm going to utilize them. So I'm about to sign, I have two externs. I'm going to sign each of them an individual task and then a task for both of them. The both of them is kind of, I want to see both perspectives. I don't want to tell you guys what that task is because you guys will see that soon if you guys continue to follow the journey. But. Oh, I'm slowly but surely waking up. Do I look tired? I feel like I do. Where are my glasses? I usually put on my blue light glasses, but. Um, trying to get the angle. Okay, y'all. Just got my eyebrows waxed. So I'm trying to decide do I want to go ahead and run to my peel box real quick? Let me see how far it is. Run in my PO box because I need to mail something. And then after that, I have a few calls. So like, I think I have three calls and then I'm gonna get my nails done and then I'm gonna pack. And that's gonna be the end of the day. I also need to edit. Damn, so I should just, well, let me. I'm getting on a call. Hey girl, my bad. I'm trying to scarf this little meal down. dessert I eat my acai bowl I didn't have that much pasta left so I knew I was gonna be hungry still so that's why I got the acai but still ate the pasta so yeah let's get into it let's get into it thank you lord for this food let it nurse it up I just not am my mom and I'm pregnant on the sweet so this is mmm so good now I have a super exciting partnership opportunity. I'm about to like pee on myself. I'm so excited. I'm not gonna record because I'm just too freaking excited to like think. <sighs> okay. It's a really good opportunity. I'm nervous. Okay. 
Bye. That was the quickest call of my life. And now listen, hey, I know I got a lot of energy and I know I do a lot, but sis on the other line was very much tired. She was over today. She was tired. It was giving very much tired. But maybe that's just her personality. I don't know, but. Hello, beautiful people. I completely forgot to end today's video. I'm at my co-working space. I swear I have a shirt on. I don't know why it looks like I'm naked. Hope you guys can hear me because there's noises and music and stuff. But I wanted to end today's video properly. And I had no like cute clip to add at the end. So I was like, girl, you're going to talk on here and say something while you finish editing the video. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to thumbs up this video if you did enjoy. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And if you don't know, I always end my videos with an affirmation. So if you made it this far in the video, comment below this affirmation. I operate from a place of gratitude. Mm, that's so good because lately I've been feeling so grateful and just trying to really prioritize being grateful for things, focusing on what I do have versus what I don't have. Even if it's something I desire to have, it's in the works. So yeah, I'm gonna run that back one time for the one time. If you made this far in the video, comment below. I operate from a place of gratitude. Love you guys so much and I'll see you in my next one. Later.